The thing I like most about working in the marine industry is the hands-on work and the practicality of it. Being able to problem solve. I love diagnosing engines and fixing problems and being able to fix it gives me a great reward and also the customer. Having all that hands-on work is really good for me. The skills that I've learned here through my trade have been people management skills, time management skills for my own and also for the other boys, arranging the jobs that they're going to have during the day, making sure that they're getting the work out and we're providing good customer service. In the next 10 years, I'd love to be running my own business, managing my own bunch of staff and being able to help customers to the best of our ability and having a great name and being a product of this marine trade. I'm in my first year of TAFE and I really enjoy it. It's great learning different things in a different learning environment and working with people that are on my experience level. It's cool at TAFE to be around a bunch of people that enjoy the same interests as me. We all just talk about what's going on in our workshops and we all just talk about motors and all the problems that we solve. We all just love it. In 10 years time, I want to be fully qualified um, and I eventually want to have my own shop. I go hard for my brother. We've both got the same passion. I'm going to have a good one. Dad wants to get involved as well. We've got guys here who literally walked through the door and um, we've given them a position at the bottom and then they've managed to work their way up. If you're passionate about working with your hands and the marine industry and you love engines and love to go fast and things like that, I'd definitely be giving it a go. What I enjoy about working in the marine industry is always really positive. Everyone's looking to help you, especially when you're, you're a younger kid. If you're young and looking to get into this industry, definitely have a go, put that foot forward and it will go a long way. How I got this job was through work experience from school. Uh, we contacted the manager here and he was happy to take me on and through that I got a job out of it. I never thought I'd been in the boating industry. I was working in a bottle shop and one day I started washing down a yacht twice a week for some extra cash and then I realised I really liked working on the water and then from then on I got my deckhands qualification. That's when I started working on the island uh, in Sydney Harbour. Everyone was good to work with and being out in the elements and just mingling with people it, it really appealed to me and now I can really see a future in the industry. Every day is different. You're never doing the same thing. Because you've got a, such a broad aspect of you know, work that you do, you can utilize it in every day and also in other trades as well. It's no point doing something that you, if you don't want to do it. Like you've got to concentrate on what you are you know, aspire to do and what you, what you enjoy doing. My job has taken me overseas. I've traveled to South Pacific, Europe, and some parts of Mexico. It's very different, very remote, uh, very beautiful cruising areas uh, that you get to see and, and do around the world. If a young student was interested in a trade or a career path, then uh, look into possibly doing a trade and starting from there and learn the theories, learn the basic principles. You can only build from there. Get that trade behind you if you enjoy working with your hands and that, that will stay with you for life something that you'll, you'll find you can always fall back on or use in, in many other fields. I did a marine mechanical apprenticeship uh, straight out of school and then continued uh, that job for over 10 years before going over to Europe and working as an engineer on super yachts. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do when I left school, but I knew that I uh, loved working on the water. So I ended up working for a marina down in the Shire um, and then continued on there as a marine mechanic when I finished my apprenticeship. It was all after school and that TAFE that I learned everything to become a captain. This is like the first thing in my life that I actually want to do by myself. And then these courses that I've done at TAFE, it's something I wanted to do. And learning everything about it, it's just opened my eyes to how good learning actually can be it's, if it's something that you like to do. It was what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to do that as a trade. Teachers are good. They, they taught well and you know, everyone got along. So it was a good good thing to do. I did um, woodwork and design technology and my teacher from that class actually uh, recommended I, I do boat building.
a passion for the industry is probably what's what's led me down this path. There's probably two things that, that really appeal to me. Uh, you meet a very interesting and diverse range of people. You know, I'm a people person, so we spend a lot of time, you know, getting to know people and, and catching up with them and chatting and, and learning about them. And, and I find that fascinating. And obviously the boats themselves, you know, I, I'm probably only in the office half of the day. The rest of the day I'm with people or I'm out on the water or I'm out on boats. So, you know, you can't really beat being out on the water in a beautiful boat. Traditionally, it has been more male dominated, but we're seeing more and more females in the industry now. There is a lot of girls that do work as captains and engineers also. It's just as accessible, I think, these days. There is plenty of women in the industry, locally, internationally, from deckhands, stewardesses, captains, shipwrights. The best way to find a job in this industry would be to do your research online and speak to the people, head down to the marina and see if that's what you enjoy and what you like doing and move forward from there. I would recommend it to anybody who likes hands-on work, get to learn a lot, get to be out in the open. It's not like being inside all day, you're outside in the elements. Hopefully in the next 10 years I'll uh, keep doing some more courses, drive bigger boats, maybe some super yachts, go to dream big. In 10 years from now, I hope to see myself on a super yacht overseas. I've got a passion for the industry and I've got a passion for boats. You know, this is a great brand that we're involved with. So I would love to, to still be involved with the company and with the brand in 10 years. In a more senior position would, uh, would definitely be an aspiration. But yeah, I love the job and I love the industry. For a younger student looking to come into the industry, my advice would be definitely reach out to some of the local businesses in your area. Businesses like us are always looking for trainees and, and people to help out here and there and, and learn the ropes and come up through the ranks. We've got staff who have gone through the ranks at TAFE and, and done qualifications through there as well. And that's been very valuable for us as well in having people trained up as they move up and take on more responsibility in the business. So yeah, definitely training in a more formal place like TAFE and, uh, and definitely reaching out to local businesses uh, in your area.